for me, a book a year is no hardship. You know, we're Deadline's all in a very good. fortunate position, unlike 95% of writers in this country, that we write full time. If you're somebody who has another job and you have to get up yeah, at five right. o'clock every morning and write for two hours before you go to work, that's that's tough. But we have no excuse. So for me, I'm very happy to write a book for a year and I wouldn't know what to do with myself if I wasn't. But that doesn't mean I write every day. Absolutely not. Doesn't mean I write set hours any day. I might go a week without writing anything. But we all know that the book is actually being written all the time. It's, this is just the typing. It's, you know, the book is being written while you're wandering around the supermarket or walking the dog or, you know, you're working stuff out. Things are coming to you, you're thinking about characters, it's taking shape. But that doesn't, it's not a nine to five job, it absolutely isn't. I certainly, if I am going to write, prefer to write after dark. I'd rather look out at darkness than look out at a squirrel stuff and, going on. you know, stuff going on. And the phone isn't ringing and emails aren't arriving and the kids are in bed and the house is quiet and it just is a... Squirrels are particularly distracting. Squirrels, oh, squirrels, squirrels are a squirrels nightmare. Are Many a aren't great they book knocking on the door, <laughs> demanding attention? <laughs> It's like the, uh, the travelling salesman from wherever it was who apparently derailed, you know, uh, Coleridge's... Yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. The, door. the man from Porlock. The man from Porlock. The man from Porlock. Porlock. Like to buy some insurance. <laughs> yeah. I, I was just... Uh, I was in the middle of... I was just writing this... Oh! <laughs> no! Yeah.